Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Mahawa Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who will well teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach, Irazaka, from the servants of Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as The Lord is in control of good and evil. And this is a quick hit lesson. Yes, the Lord is in control of good and evil. The angelic Satan that's in the scriptures. Is not in control of evil. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, which is his true name, the God of Israel in the Bible, which his true name is Yahweh, he's in control of good and evil. The Lord is the one that kills. Yes, the Lord kills according to the scriptures. And we're going to bring this out. Lord willingness, that's in Zedifying. Proverbs 15 and 3. <coughs> Salakia. Proverbs 15 and 3. It says the eyes of the Lord are in every place. You see the eyes of the Lord are in every place. So this is like again like I said going back to before. Don't think the Lord isn't watching you. Because the Lord is watching everything you're doing. He can see everything that you do on a daily basis. The Lord even knows what you're going to do before you do it. So don't think because you're hiding things from brothers. Or brothers can't see who you portraying to be off camera that you can't get caught. Well, you can get caught because the Lord can see everything you're doing. This isn't directed to anybody. I'm just saying in general, if you are an individual that is thinking that no one can catch what you're doing, the Lord can catch what you're doing. It says the eyes of the Lord are in every place. See, so you can't escape or you can't hide from the Lord. The Lord sees everything you do. In your daily life in this mortal flesh continuing it says beholding it says beholding the good and the evil see so the lord he's in control of good and evil yes the heavenly father he's in control of good and evil you see so satan isn't in control of nothing he's in total order proverbs 16 and 4 it says the lord have made all things for himself con the Lord have made all things for himself. He have made good and evil. He have created darkness and light. Right? The Lord created good and evil. Right? The Lord works in perfect balance. It says the Lord have made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. See, so the Lord is in control of good and evil. You cannot escape the judgment of the Lord. 1 Samuel 2 and 6, the Lord killeth. So now you know who does the killing. When the individual dies on the earth, when the Jake dies on the earth, that was the Lord casting his judgment on that individual. Yes, the Lord will send the death angel at after a particular individual. Whether it's a car accident, whether somebody getting shot, stabbed, killed, whether it's a woman getting ravaged onto death, right? Children, etc. When death comes, it comes. And that's the judgment of the Lord. Yes, the Lord killeth. And the Lord does send a death angel after you. That's why you want to fear the Lord. Because our bodies, these mortal flesh, they have expiration dates. And you don't know when that date is up. First Samuel 2 and 6, it says, The Lord killeth and maketh alive. See, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. Not Satan. He don't kill nothing. The only thing the angelic the only thing the angelic Satan does is mess with us individually in our faith. He'll put us through different trials and tribulations, but he has to get permission from the heavenly Father first before he can do anything to you. He don't just go and just do stuff. Satan causes uh, trials and tribulations for you. He'll he'll hop on your woman, cause an argument. He'll he'll fucking even put it hop on your boss at your job and start some start some stuff. You know, Satan works many different ways and the Lord knows where to try you and he will send Satan after you. The Lord knows where to try us individually. So Satan, he has to get permission from the Heavenly Father first before he can do anything. 
It said, he bringeth down to the grave and he bringeth up. So there you go. The Lord killeth and he maketh alive. So everything is under the establishment of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Deuteronomy 32 and 9. It says, see now that I, even I am he. And there is none and there is no God with me. See, so Yahweh is our only true power. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is our only true power. There's no power out there but the Most High. He's the director of this whole entire movie. Yes, we're in a movie. He's the director of it. It says, see now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill. See, the Lord kills. He's telling you he does the killing. He does the judgments on individuals in the earth. Yes, he does. I kill. And I make alive. So the Lord does the killing and he makes it alive. He makes a decision on who he wants to, to still remain walking on this earth. Other than that, the Lord can just take you out of here. It says, I wound. The Lord does wound. He makes us sick. Right? He puts these diseases on people. Right? The Lord can get you a bad wound. He can give you a sickness. The Lord wounds. He can take away the sickness. I heal. And the Lord heals. He's the one that does everything. Neither is there any that can deliver you out of my hand. You can't escape the judgment of the Lord. You could be a doctor with a PhD. You can't escape the judgment of the Lord. You could be the richest man on earth. You cannot escape the judgment of the Lord. When it's your time to go, it's your time to go. Your money can't even help you escape. You cannot escape the judgment of the Lord, man. Nobody can. Isaiah 45 and 6 it says that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord and there is none else. See, there's none else. Our true power, Yahweh Bashi Mashai, there's none else. Verse 7, I form light and create darkness. See, the Lord form light and create dar darkness. Our Lord is in perfect balance. I make peace. The Lord create peace on the earth, right? He creates peace. Right. And create evil. The Lord creates evil. So there's a there's a time and place for everything. Like the scriptures say in Achilles three. Right. There's a time to mourn, a time to be happy, a time to be sad, a, a time to die, a time for war, a time for peace. The Lord is in control of all of that. It says I make peace and create evil. The Lord makes peace and he makes he creates evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So there you go. Satan doesn't do shit. Satan is in total order. Isaiah 43 and 13. Yea, before the day was I am he. See, and there's none that can deliver you out of my hand. So you can't escape the judgment of the Lord. The scriptures say it's a, uh, it's a, um, how do you say the precept? It's a, a scary thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Just a, you know, paraphrasing. It's, you know, it's a dangerous thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. You cannot escape the judge of the Lord. It says, and there is none that can deliver you out of my hand. I will work and who shall let it. See, so you can't escape the judgment of the Lord, man. Yahweh Bashi Shai, he's in control of good and evil. The Lord is in control of good and evil, not Satan. All right. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Just a quick hit. Till next time I say, Shalom.